Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a language and type in a different language on Windows 8. The system has actually changed from Windows 7, so it can be a little confusing for some people. You're going to start by opening up Control Panel, which you can find through Search. When we open that up, there your Control Panel will look like in two different ways. If you're sorting by category, then you're going to want to go to this Add a Language button. If you're sorted by icons, then you're also going to want to go to this language button instead. Either way, they'll take you to the same place. You're going to see a new page that looks kind of like this, and you're already going to have English set up. That's what you're typing in already. If you want to add a language, go to Add a Language, and they have all of these different kinds to pick from. I'm going to pick from Korean because that's what I've been studying. So you go down, you find your language, you click it, and then you want to go down and add it. There you go. Now you've already added it to the program. This is actually a lot simpler than Windows 7 has been, so that's really nice. But there are two ways to actually change which language you're typing in on your computer. So we'll open up a Microsoft Word document, and originally we're typing in English. Da, 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 da. Then I'm going to go down here to my taskbar, and you'll see down here it has a little button that looks like a keyboard, and you want to click on that and it opens up your touch keyboard. This is the one where you can click the buttons and it works out, starts typing from here. If you go down here you'll see the same little keyboard button only it says English beneath it. If you click that it'll open up with all of your language options. So for now I just have English and Korean on mine. So you want to click the Korean and look you have Korean letters now. So you can go ahead and start using those which works, or the second alternative actually is, if you go down, we're going to set it back to English. So we have English letters, and then we want to go over and open up the sidebar and go down to where the little gear says settings. If you click that, you'll see the button down here on the bottom right that says ENG for English and then keyboard. If you click that, it'll open up the same two options again, all your language options. So we're going to click Korean, and we come back over here and start typing, and we're typing in Korean again. Then if you go back and want to change back to English, you can go back and click English. And actually you can switch back and forth later between these, so if you just want to click down here and click Korean, you can start typing in Korean here, then you go back over here to the side on your way out, click settings, English, ta-da, you're all done. And if you, you can add any of the languages that you want to and the process is pretty much the same. So that is the way you start typing in a foreign language on Windows 8.